BBC Radio Link, should we come down pitch side to have a chat with Tom Shaw? Um, we chatted before the game. I think pretty much everything you talked about in the interview you got. We, we've uh, we've given the players a lot of information in the last in the last week. Uh, we've tried to affect how the in possession looks. Tried to affect their confidence and mindset when we, we've got the ball and the game plan that we that we talked about because. They're a very good football team, Charlton, been on a very good run, got some real threats that the game plan we discussed. Um, I thought the, the players executed it phenomenally well. Uh, the substitutes that came on, took the, the bat on, they were the same. Um, so really pleasing night for, for the group who went to, went to the edge on Saturday and, and the challenge was can you get there physically and mentally again and I, I think they went even more, if I'm honest. Uh, the physical output was, was outrageous um, and the challenge again was can, can we take the roof off this place and I think some of the stuff that happened tonight with and without the ball gave the supporters who were magnificent something to get behind um, and, and it was a, a really good night for everyone involved. I think the thing was as well you, you came from a, a goal to nil down and the team worked and fought and got themselves back in the game bit by bit and then to remind everyone you don't have a lot of your usual strikers and yet you've scored three goals tonight. Yeah, there's, there's a, unfortunately a long, a long list of players that are unavailable tonight, but uh, makes it more difficult for the group. But, but what a performance in the circumstances. I thought we started well um, and the goal was a speed bump and you, you want to see the reaction of a, of a group of young men. And the thing I was, I was most pleased about, I think the most pleasing thing of the whole night, we passed our way out of that speed bump, out of that problem at nil one. We, we showed confidence. There was a bit of swagger in our three centre-halves tonight, which I've not seen um, loads of. So I, I, I've got admiration for how, how the group went about their business um, from, a, from an unfortunate nil one uh, start. Hack story is some story, isn't it, really? He uh, wasn't in the photos at the start of the season. He uh, was at Gilliam last season on loan. I know he enjoyed celebrating in front of Michael because he didn't get his, he would have feel his chances for Michael. So to, to put in the goal scoring performance he did will be special for him. He, he's, he's a great bloke, Michael. Hakeem is a great bloke. He trains properly, carries himself with, with real class in everything he does. I took a B team game that he was asked to play in at Derby against Derby young players. And that's a question you know, of, of someone's professionalism. How do, you, how do you do it? He was brilliant that day and gave me the faith in see, seeing how he, he played to put him in the side tonight. Um, I thought he was sparkling, I thought he caused real problems. He's, um, he's a bag of tricks and he, he's a handful um, on, his, on, his, on his day and his best performances and I, I thought he was brilliant tonight. And then we get to talk about Lass who gets man of the match from, from Marcus and was standing behind me, got man of the match from the sponsors and he's got a big smile from your face. I don't know quite how uh, Sean Rowan managed to stop one of them, how he didn't score tonight because he had some amazing first time volleys but some performance from Lass tonight. He, he was shooting in when he last tonight but he, we put him on the top line, it was um, a calculated risk I'd say, like he's not played there before. Uh, but we knew about his running power, we knew about an area of the pitch they would leave open because they're very expansive, they're, they're, they're brave with the ball. Um, but have, have you seen anybody run like that before, like for that long? Um, I think he was disappointed we took him off in the end, like he wanted to keep going. But he, he's a machine of a man, he's a brilliant human, um, he's the same every single day. He's, he's a pleasure to be around, but that, that performance and like that, that side of the ground seems to energise him as well. Like they, they love him, the supporters, don't they? And he, he gives them everything. Um, so that was a, a sight to behold, seeing, seeing him march along on the right-hand side tonight. And Sean getting one as well to top it all off. <laughs> yeah, so obviously known Sean since he was 16. Um, not known for his finishing, but he was nice and calm in front of goal. He, he went cold at a really important moment, so I'm, I'm really pleased for him. Sean's had a really good start to, it, to his young career and shown he's capable at, at this level, but there's more to come from Sean. Uh, we've got to keep working with him. There's, there's much more to come. He can play in a variety of positions um, and, and we hope he can keep progressing. And right, we talk about two or three individuals, but it genuinely was a, a group effort tonight. Sometimes it, it can be one player that gets you over a line, but today it was a group effort. Yeah, absolutely, and, and staff as well. So from uh, Thursday morning last, last week, everybody's pulled together. The, the staff are so selfless. They want to look after the players. They, we never cater to the players, um, but we, we're demanding of them, but we want them to do well. You can tell in the building that it's a group of young, ambitious staff that are so invested in Lincoln City. Like They're not here for, they, they'll go on in their careers, but they want this to be good. You can tell in, in every meeting, every conversation. So the staff have been magnificent and the players have just got right after this from Thursday morning onwards. Uh, it's a brilliant week's work, but just to the players, the last uh, bit I said was if I keep clapping till Thursday at training, I'm doing them a disservice. So we have got to get hungry for another three points um, down in the southwest 
um, and hopefully we'll be up for the challenge. And we should mention, um, obviously, Jack Vail coming on and you know, with a smile on your face, it's great to get 30 minutes out of him and the Imps fans have got a little bit of a flavour of what he's about. He, he, had a, he added a spark, I thought. We were obviously um, camped in a little bit at that period, so it's difficult for him against two big athletic centre-halves, but he's got a lovely buzz about him, lovely enthusiasm, the boy can finish. He's five foot nine, but jumped six foot five. You saw that, he was a nuisance. So we're really excited to, to let his minutes will keep building and, and progressing. Really excited to see what he looks like in the coming games. And just finally, in terms of injuries, any news on Rico and obviously um, Teddy not being in the squad today? Yeah, t Teddy, we're hoping we can spin around for the weekend. We've got fingers crossed for that. Rico, um, not amazing news, not sure of the, the length of it, but it's, it's, a, it's a proper hamstring injury. Um, but he, we, we'll get him back as soon as possible. He's in very capable hands with our medical team. Um, we'll support him on, it, on his rehab, but we, we will miss him. He's been, he's been good. Um, as you saw tonight, it's opportunities for others to step up and we've just got to keep that competitive spirit in the, in the group. Um, but hopefully we can and getting back as soon as possible.